Can you talk about some of the protection against neurodegenerative disorders like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease when it comes to the spectrum of fasting? Well, it's really interesting findings because we're learning that one of the biggest drivers of Alzheimer's is sugar. In fact, scientists have called Alzheimer's type three diabetes. It's diabetes of the brain. And there's a subset, a big subset of people with Alzheimer's because they're not all the same. Some might be bare to metals or mold or lime or whatever, but the large subset is insulin resistant and it's insulin resistance in the brain. And that's really driven off of carbohydrates. So when you have a high carbohydrate diet, starch and sugar, and even, you know, what they think of as good carbohydrates, grains and beans, it can increase insulin and it can actually damage your brain. So it's really important to understand that if you have Alzheimer's, this may be going on and there's ways to test for it. And I've had many patients, you know, with insulin resistance, diabetes and Alzheimer's, and this works amazing for them. And when you put them on a ketogenic diet, it really helps their brain function better. Why? Because when your body's running on ketones, one, you reduce inflammation, which is the main cause of Alzheimer's, oxidative stress, which is a big factor in Alzheimer's. You increase mitochondrial function, which is your energy centers in the brain, so your brain works better. And you obviously cut out the starch and sugar, which cuts out the insulin resistance in the brain and helps all these things work together. So what happens is when you put people on a high fat diet, and by the way, the brain is made up of mostly fat. It's 60% fat, mostly DHA, which is fish oil. So when you actually, and, and it's got a lot of saturated fat in there and a lot of things in the brain. So it's not that fat is bad. You need fat for your brain. And when you get in a keto diet, when we were in this state before, it, it was a state designed to increase our brain function. Why? Because if you're starving and you can't find anything to eat, you better be focused, alert, on top of it so you can hunt and gather and find something to eat, otherwise you die. So there's an evolutionary reason for us to have better mental focus and concentration and memory and attention when we're in a ketogenic state or in a fasted state. So I think, I think that's the mechanism of action of how it works. If you love that last video, you're gonna love the next one. Check it out here.